If you could do 40 push-ups in one go, your chance of getting heart attack in next 10 years is 96% less when compared to the one who can do only 10. That's according to a report published by a popular journal called JAMA. The report suggests ability to do push-ups as a marker of heart attack risk, but how to use this information in our daily life so that it does not harm us and needs an expert advice. To have answers on these important questions, we have with us a panel of eminent doctors. Our welcome, Dr. Rajneesh Kapoor, Senior Director, Interventional Cardiology, Medanda Hospital, Dr. Praveen Vashne, Senior Consultant Physician and MD at Navjeevan Hospital, Arigat, and Dr. Rajneesh Dahuja, Senior Consultant Physician and MD at Leela Heart and Medicare Center. Good evening, doctors. Thank you so much for joining us. My first question is for Dr. Rajneesh Kapoor. So people who, who can do 40 push-ups, do they need not to worry about heart attacks? And on the other hand, people who are unable to do 40 push-ups, do they fear heart attack? I think this is pretty interesting. So we had this study rolled out. It's published in JAMA. Uh, it's done in US. So what they have done, you know, they uh, retrospectively, they analyze certain uh, fire workers. So those who were doing, who were able to do 40 push-ups or more than 40 push-ups in one go, the risk of heart disease was found to be much lesser as compared to those who were unable to do 10 push-ups a day. I think this, this is pretty interesting. So now uh, let's see what the analysis of this study is that person who's able to do 40 push-ups has to be a very active guy with a lot of core muscle strength. So what push-up is doing it actually energizes or it, it actually consolidates the core muscle group and the shoulder muscle group. So 40 push-ups is almost equivalent to doing 8 to 10 mets on treadmill. Mm -hmm. And this study also proved that the predictive value of this, uh, that persons who are doing 40 push-ups actually are at less risk to the tune of 96%. It, so it's more uh, consolidated way, if we see, it's more uh, predictive than a treadmill testing, which is very, very interesting. So it has a big value as for push-ups, we don't require any equipment. It's, there is no cost involved. One can just start doing that. And one who can uh, over the time, you know, have a expertise or gain uh, the numbers or going beyond 30 or 40 push-ups a day can decrease the cardiovascular disease to a great extent. So though my next question is for Dr. Praveen Vashne. So is push-up test is applicable to all ages? Well, uh, the thing is that all ages are not uh, necessarily uh, angled with this because uh, you know that they have to be physically active. And physically active means that the younger physically age group what Dr. Kapoor has said that this was done in firefighters and they were physically active. So you need to be physically active to perform 40 push-ups at one go. So middle-aged men, yes, it has a good predictive value, but the other part we should analyze, there has to be studies and also exercise is always beneficial. Exercise in the aerobic exercises and the other exercises are always beneficial in preventing the heart diseases. So one should exercise, but should not start in his own way that do 40 push-ups right away and then go. The thing is that you have to be physically fit. You have to have the clearance of the doctor. You have to have a normal blood pressure so that you don't end up with some complications. So I think you have to be younger age group person. The age group in that study was 18 to 60, I suppose. So uh, these are the age groups which are definitely can be used for such a test, but still there are some uh, restrictions. Dr. Rajneesh Dahuja, uh, yes. can people consider push-up tests as a strong test to judge their heart condition? Well, I'm afraid not at this stage, because if you have seen the Harvard study, uh, it was uh, done on uh, uh, firefighters who were young and uh, in their 40s, right? And uh, of course, it clearly shows that people who can do more than 40 push-ups uh, have 96% less chances of developing coronary artery disease as compared to people who can't do 10. 
but uh, we don't have data for women we don't have data for elderly and uh, other groups so unless and until we have data for other groups we cannot extrapolate it to um, sort of a general test but of course it is a very strong uh, predictor uh, as you have seen it is a very strong predictor for uh, heart disease and i'm sure if uh, other studies are done in other groups and uh, in future maybe it becomes a very simple test compared to standard uh, treadmill test and of course it requires uh, standardization also so that's my take on that can you suggest some views or uh, some easy and speedy ways where we can reduce heart disease in future yeah sure uh, the conventional ways uh, and the basic way is to do lifestyle modifications like uh, control your diet control the fat content in your diet avoid fast foods go for exercise walk quit smoking and if you are a hypertensive or diabetic keep your blood pressure and uh, blood sugar in check so these are simple ways to keep uh, coronary artery disease in check i think this is well mentioned by dr dahuja these are the normal conventional methods to mitigate uh, future heart disease so exercise definitely remains the mainstay anybody who sedentary has a more chance of getting a heart disease anybody who is exercising more routinely on routine basis at least 5 to 6 days a week has less chances of having a heart disease now besides these points i think uh, stress management is also very important so we should uh, learn how to manage a present day stress we should also learn to have a good adequate sleep as sleep deprivation also is known to cause uh, increased chances of heart disease and uh, obviously the lifestyle and dietary modifications uh, are a big factor in controlling the heart disease further yeah i would like to add that uh, prolonged sitting for uh, uh, longer periods uh, Uh, is also a risk factor and uh, people have compared it to smoking the risk is yeah. as uh, as much as uh, smoking few cigarettes every day so yeah. people should be advised not to be sitting for a long time and like, yes, uh, yes. like in even in our clinic chamber we should uh, get up and take a walk and then sit again there has sure, been sure. That, that's there also interesting with the tv watching also the amount of tv watching and the cardiovascular diseases again and the other thing is carbohydrate intake in the food the carbohydrates counting should be done and there should be minimized so that uh, there is less burden on the metabolic system okay. hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching